In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on October 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Charlotte Hornets vs. Miami Heat The Charlotte Hornets and Miami Heat meet Tuesday in NBA preseason action at the Casa Center. The Charlotte Hornets won 27 games last year and are still looking for their first playoff trip since 2015 to 2016. Coach Steve Clifford is back for a second season in his second stint. The Hornets watched Kelly Albert, JR, and Dennis Smith leave, while they drafted Brandon Miller with the second overall pick and take a shot on Frank Antilakina. Miller living up to his draft selection out the gate would be ideal for the Hornets, as the talent is there. Lamelo Ball is talented, but he can only do so much to carry this squad. Other players like Terry Rozier, PJ Washington, and Gordon Hayward are pretty much who they are at this stage. Miller blossoming is kind of make or break for the Hornets season and probably their future. The Miami Heat are coming off their second final trip in the last four years and enter year 16 under coach Eric Spolstra. The Heat weren't able to land Damian Lillard, and they watched Gabe Vincent and Max Strews leave in free agency, so some are a bit down on them this season. However, the Heat made some underrated moves by snagging Thomas Bryant and Josh Richardson while drafting Jane Jackas. JR guys like Tyler Harrow and Nikola Jovic put in a lot of work this offseason, and Jimmy Butler and Bama Debeo is still one of the best duos in the league. Yes, a big three with Dame would have put the Heat over the top, but I wouldn't sleep on this squad that seems to overachieve year after year. The Hornets are 5-1 against the spread in their last six road games and 4-11-2 against the spread in their last 17 Tuesday games. The under is 24-7 in Hornets last 31 overall. The under is 8-1 in Heat last nine overall. The over is 6-1 in the last seven meetings in Miami and 4-1 in the last five meetings. I'm not somebody who likes laying decent-sized chalk in preseason games where a lot of these games are coin flips, but I have little confidence in the Charlotte Hornets outside of a couple of players. The Miami Heat may sit some of their older players, including Jimmy Butler, but they're one of those teams that plays hard regardless if the game counts or not. For season, summer league, or NBA finals, the Heat are a competitive franchise that only knows one thing. Heat players also know, regardless of draft position, they can earn a spot on the team if they work hard and that produces results. So the Miami Heat to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Miami has generally played at a slow pace in the Jimmy Butler era, ranking them 29th by that metric last season. Their offense can falter in the half court, plus their defense is top-notch, hence low-scoring games are generally expected. However, that wasn't the case when they faced the Hornets last season. Out of their four encounters, three surpassed a total of 230 points, with Charlotte's poor defense and tendency to get out and run lending itself to shootouts. While Miami has lost some offensive firepower in Gabe Vincent and Max Strews, we still anticipate a high-scoring game here. Teams might hesitate to put in too much effort defensively. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Atlanta Hawks The Cleveland Cavaliers and Atlanta Hawks meet Tuesday in NBA preseason action at the State Farm Arena. The Cleveland Cavaliers made the playoffs for the first time since LeBron left for the second time. After 51 wins, the Cavs enter the fourth full season under coach JB by Kerstaff. The Cavaliers didn't lose any players from their key core and still managed to add rotation players in Georges Nang and Max Strews. That's great news for a Cavs roster that still has Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen, and Darius Garland. You can talk about the youth and how overmatched they looked in last year's playoffs, but the Cavs have one of the better teams in the East on paper. It's just a matter of things playing out on the court. The Atlanta Hawks won 41 games last year and made the postseason for a third straight year. The Hawks now begin the Quinn Snyder era. The Hawks shook things up by trading John Collins to Utah. The key additions for the Hawks include leadership and veterans and Patty Mills and Wesley Matthews. The Hawks are banking on a backcourt of Trey Young and DeJount Murray for a second year, while there's going to be more on the plate of Dander Hunter and Sadik Bay now with Collins gone. Clint Capa remains one of the more underrated bigs in the league. 
The Hawks have intriguing players and now have a coach who provides stability. Depth could be an issue for the Hawks to really take that next step. The Cavaliers are 4-0 to 1 against the spread in their last five Tuesday games and 1-5 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Hawks are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight home games and 2-6 against the spread in their last eight games overall. The under is 7-0 in Cavaliers' last seven overall. The over is 4-0 in Hawks' last four overall. The Cavaliers are 1-4 against the spread in the last five meetings in Atlanta. The Cleveland Cavaliers have the deeper and better roster and should be favored, but there are questions about who will play and for how long. The Atlanta Hawks have guys on their bench fighting for minutes and should put their best foot forward in games like this in hopes of securing playing time. If forced to pick, I'd grab the free bucket with the Hawks at home. So the Atlanta Hawks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Quinn Snyder quickly changed the Hawks' offensive profile. Their three-point attempt skyrocketed under Snyder, a pattern likely to persist into the upcoming season. Atlanta was already a good offense, but there is great potential with players such as Trey Young, DeJount Murray, and others. Cleveland can match that backcourt firepower. Players like Max Struess and George's Nang perfectly complement Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell, while improvement on that end of the floor is also expected from Evan Mobley. In their last season, the lowest total in their three games was 116. The other two games easily surpassed this figure. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Bucks vs. Memphis Grizzlies The Milwaukee Bucks and Memphis Grizzlies meet Tuesday in NBA preseason action at the FedEx Forum. The Bucks look for another win after beating the Bulls on Sunday. The Bucks have lost seven of their last eight preseason games. The Grizzlies look for another win after beating the Pacers in overtime on Sunday. The Grizzlies have won four of their last six preseason games. The Bucks are 0-4 against the spread in their last four road games and 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Grizzlies are 2 2 to 7 against the spread in their last 9 Tuesday games and 3 to 8 against the spread in their last 11 games overall. The over is 7 to 0 in Bucks last 7 overall. The under is 4 to 1 in Grizzlies last 5 overall. The Bucks are 0 to 4 against the spread in the last 4 meetings in Memphis and 1 to 6 against the spread in the last 7 meetings. The Bucks didn't play Lillard or the Greek Freak in their preseason opener and the fact they're the underdog here, I'm not expecting them to play in this spot. The Bucks have lost seven of their last eight preseason efforts. The Grizzlies looked sharp offensively in their opener, and some of their key rotation guys look to be in regular season form already. The Grizz also usually play great at home, so the Memphis Grizzlies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Milwaukee Bucks are averaging 105 points on 48.2% shooting and allowing 102 points on 39.4% shooting. Larjon Bochep is averaging 18 points and 9 rebounds, while Thanasis Antetokounmpo is averaging 14 points and 5 rebounds. Malik Beasley is the third double-digit scorer and Brooke Lopez is grabbing 3 rebounds. The Milwaukee Bucks are shooting 30.3% from beyond the arc and 81.3% from the free-throw line. The Milwaukee Bucks are allowing 37 7.1% shooting from deep and are grabbing 46 rebounds per game. The Memphis Grizzlies are averaging 127 points on 46.3% shooting and allowing 122 points on 40.2% shooting. Jaron Jackson Jr. is averaging 18 points and 2 assists while Desmond Bain is averaging 17 points and 4 rebounds. Jake LaRavia is the third double-digit scorer and Derrick Rose is dishing two assists. The Memphis Grizzlies are shooting 21.1% from beyond the arc and 90.5% from the free-throw line. The Memphis Grizzlies are allowing 24.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 47 rebounds per game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.